this, Let's yeah, this talk about an e a non isekai power fantasy. Persona Five: The Animation. <laughs> this because it's an anime, it counts. It's now it's an anime, so it does count. What am I gonna see? Uh, four and three on the animation up in there in the back lines too. No. Nah. <laughs> I, I chose this specifically. I can give Persona three and four some slack on this for what they for what they what how they handle their stories and characters. Persona five, there's no excuse. You have a character who's just this kind of average nobody. I say average, but dear God, he looks like a fucking he he looks like a fucking J-pop idol. The fucking anime characters always look so fucking beautiful. He's tall. He's got good hair. He's got good looks. Like. Fucking no! <laughs> so, did, it, uh, did he walk? Did he walk off a of, guy? Yeah, you bring it back. It looks like he walked off of K-pop set. <laughs> oh my god! It's just like he—he—he's supposed to be the self-insert. He's a self-projection, and on top of that, like even in the anime, he's like his dialogue is very like generic. It's very—it's very generic. Like it doesn't really. Like, okay, I, I, you can say what you will about, like, the other anime, but I definitely, like, Yunarukami is cemented as just that kind of the, like, w just kind of a straight-lined, uh, smug asshole, in a sense. Like, he, he's... And we've... He, and they've rolled with him ever since. <laughs> yeah, like, at, at least in Persona 4, the animation, they gave him kind of an arc. Persona 5, it's made worse with the fact that, like, it, again, it's just, like, the main character is not that interesting, and on top of that, it's just, like... Every situation he's put in, he can get out of without any shadow of a doubt. He embodies more or less the idea of, like, the cool guy that all of the kids want to be. On top of that, the cast, like, being, like, heavily reliant on him to solve their issues and everything is just, like, it makes, it, it makes them feel more in the sense of, like, they don't really have much character outside of the main character. That, that is, uh, those are very good points. Yeah. yeah. So what would you rate this on in terms of like power fantasy? On well, terms of power fantasy, it, it it's up there. Like <laughs> it's up there. I do like the message that Persona Five tries to go for with the whole thing of uh, society and ha and wanting to change and everything. Persona Five, it's just it feels like it has this well-intentioned message that I really feel like could have been done more like. It, it, it could have been done less cartoonish, honestly. The villains in that series are very much, like, cartoonishly villain. Like, I half expected one of their whole things to be like, I took one of your members and attached her to this train track with three sticks of dynamite. Can you save her before the train comes in? Now, excuse me while I twirl my mustache. <laughs> <laughs> twirl up mustache, yep. I'm I'm sorry. Even with, uh, I'm gonna be real, I, how many, with how many times I played the game, I started to see the signs, and it's like, you, you have the right idea, and I can respect that, but, come on, you could have done it way better. So, like, like you could have toned down the comedian. Like, so, yeah. like, P5 Strikers. Yes! Yeah, 100%, yeah, I would say that that's a better version, like... Like, yeah, it, it still has those cartoonish elements, but at the very least, like, it goes definitely more for the idea of, like, these characters have, they're, they're not all complete, like, they're not just complete and utter bastards you have to hate from the get-go, they're people that became bastards. Um, cause I, I'm verging this on C tier. B tier, C tier. Mm, yeah, I think, uh, I, you know, honestly, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for C tier. Because it's the end, we've got nothing in D tier. <laughs> Just to be a dick! <laughs> you see the, you see the, you see the 